Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be filming a more makeup based video. I'm going to be testing out the collection Lasting Perfection Weightless Foundation. I think that this is new. I'm not entirely sure. It, it could be new. I don't know. Let me know if you know if it's new or not. It might have been in the collection for quite some time but I haven't seen it before so I just wanted to give it a try. It's quite cheap and that is why I wanted to try it because I'm here for cheap makeup, that's good. I don't like to spend too much money on my makeup, I'm not that kind of person, fair enough if you are, I just personally like to find cheap makeup that works just as good or you know just works well. So this video is going to be like a review, wear test kind of video, I'm going to discuss this product a little bit, kind of tell you some information about it that I've managed to find online and then I'm going to tell you my first impressions sort of of the foundation. I have worn this foundation before so when I bought this last week I've worn this about four or five times since then so I can kind of I wanted to get a feel for it so I can kind of give you my kind of impressions of it but today is going to be me showing you how it wears throughout the day kind of looking at it a little bit more kind of specifically because sometimes I don't tend to look at my face too much during the day so I don't really take much notice of my foundation but I am going to give a review of it rating out of 10 would I recommend etc etc at the end of the video so without further ado let's get into the video so first of all i'm just going to tell you some information about the foundation so it is the collection lasting perfection weightless foundation and this is £3.99. I think I personally, when I got this from Tesco's, I managed to get it for £3.49, I think it was. I didn't actually know how much it was until I got to the checkout. I was with my dad and I was and it didn't say how much it was for some reason on the on the counter or whatever. So when I got to the checkout and it was £3.49, I was expecting it to be like £8 or, you know, ooh, or like £7 or something like that. And it was so cheap. So I was like, oh God, if this is good, then I'm going to get this again. It claims to minimise imperfections, which I think every single foundation should claim to do because that's the whole purpose of wearing a foundation is to kind of, you know, clear, you know, cover your skin tone, like cover your face, but not necessarily to cover all of your face, just to kind of, you know, minimise those imperfections and even out your skin tone. And it says it's a flawless, weightless coverage. So, in terms of flawlessness, we'll have to see. In terms of coverage, I'll show you in a second when I put it on. Weightlessness, I do already have to disagree with that. I personally think it actually feels a little bit heavier than a normal foundation in terms of the fact that it's a little bit more cakey. But again, we'll come to that and we'll discuss that a little bit further on. I've definitely got foundations that I put on that feel a lot more weightless than this one. And it says it's up to 16 hour wear. And I think that's a good claim to make because it's not saying it's 24, 25 hours or two days or two weeks or whatever, you know, I'm joking here, but it, it's given a reasonable claim for how long it's gonna be lasting for. And I think that's because it doesn't last as long as other foundations and that's why it's gone for 16 hours. I'm not gonna keep it on for 16 hours, in fact, it's 10 o'clock now in the morning, so I will have this on until probably 12 hours. I'll probably have this on for 12 hours, um, 12, 13 hours. So I'm going to be updating you throughout the day. And it's got 30 mil in it, which is kind of like the standard amount for a foundation. So that is everything for the description of the foundation. I will link this foundation down below in the description if you want to go and buy it yourself, check it out, etc. Oh, and also the shade that I've got is number six, Cool Vanilla. It's too dark for me, so I am going to be mixing it with some of my lightning drops, which if I look into my makeup bag, I should be able to find. I have lightning and darkening drops because I never managed to get my skin tone in foundation so yeah i'm using the revolution pro lightning drops to mix with this foundation and um, there was lighter shades but i knew i had the light lightning drops so i just thought i'll get a darker one so let's have a look at the foundation so let's zoom you in a little bit closer shall we only a little bit also, if you're wondering, that there is a kiwi that my brother bought me from New Zealand. And what I mean by kiwi is a bird. It's like a New Zealand bird, very rare. He bought me that when he went to New Zealand. I've been to New Zealand as well. Um, but yeah, so that's why that's there, because it's just so cute, um, if you're wondering what that is. I am going to start off by priming my face. If you also, if you're wondering, I'm using this 
um, Sofex Revolution Extra Spice Palette as a mirror. And also I have moisturised my face beforehand just to kind of let you know kind of what's on my face already. Um, I use the coconut uh, body butter from the body shop. Just a tiny little bit of this. I know it's not really meant to be a moisturiser but you know. Let's break some rules. So I'm going to start off by priming and I'm actually using this Primark Primer Water. Obsessed with this. This is in, was in my April favourites so I'll link down my April favourites if you want to go and check that out. But I'm literally just going to spray this over my face absolutely love this primer and that's kind of you know the base i know some people will probably tell me or, or you know or might be thinking why use a primer you're testing out a foundation not the primer but i'm just going to do everything that i would normally do but use this foundation because i think that's the best thing to do so yeah all you need to do now is to let this dry you have to let this set on your face in terms of you know let it dry otherwise the foundation will just slip everywhere so i am going to be using a beauty blender which was also in my april favorites and um, to blend everything in i'm obsessed with beauty blenders now um actually this isn't a beauty blender this is a real techniques um beauty sponge but it's just easier to call it that i just love it so much honestly never gonna go back but yeah so i'm now gonna kind of mix the foundation together with the lightning drops so i'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand i'm not gonna take too much i could take more but i try not to apply too much kind of foundation these days because i can always build up extra if i need to so it's kind of like putting little layers on rather than putting too much on so again i'm gonna get the drops and just i do actually have to put quite a bit of the drops um, and mix it in sadly i might just bring you in a tad bit closer so you can see my face properly wow i do apologize so i'm now just going to kind of mix this in together get a kind of like a paler shade it is a little it might be still a little bit too dark but that's okay because i'll be taking it down my neck and everything and the concealer that i'm going to be applying is a lot lighter than my face and the foundation so that will kind of even it out a little bit so i'm just going to kind of pop this around my face uh try and focus on the areas where i kind of need the coverage a little bit more oh by the way i thought i'd come back in my mum's room and film some videos just cause and definitely taking it down my neck so that everything matches so i'm now going to grab my beauty blender remove product off of my hand and i'm going to bath it in so i'm literally just going to blend this in it literally blends in so quickly with a beauty blender i don't know how this foundation would be with a brush um but i'm just going to do what i would normally do rather than you know use anything else I didn't apply too much so I didn't put too much on you could definitely apply more of this foundation because I have recently been kind of gravitating towards making it look a little bit more natural rather than going you know full glam too much cake because I think it actually looks better when it's a little bit more natural personally even though I did put a little bit too much on this side I think because it seems to be a higher coverage than the other side. Also, side note, the Beauty Blender does sheer out coverage. So if you was to use this foundation with a brush, the coverage would be higher. But the finish wouldn't be quite as natural and as blended. Honestly, I, would ne I don't think I'm ever going to go back to a brush ever again now I've used this sponge. Well worth the dollar. Okay, so this is what the foundation is looking like. It is a little bit too dark for my skin tone. This side is a, l a lighter coverage than this side. I did put a little bit more on this side accidentally. I'm not gonna, you know, try and even that out too much because I don't think it matters that much right now. As you can see, I would say that this is a medium coverage foundation. It's definitely not full coverage, but it's also not light coverage, definitely not. You could 100% build this up to full coverage though with some more layers, but personally I kind of like the medium coverage sort of look. So yeah, I'm happy with how it looks. It's not cakey, it doesn't crease in your face, it's not too oily. Although my face looks quite shiny, it's because of the studio lights that I've got in front of me. And yeah, I'm happy with how it looks at the minute. I'm now going to go in and I'm going to use some concealer. I'll just show you the next sort of few steps until I powder. And then after that, I'm going to do my makeup and come back and show you what it looks like. But 
I am going to use a concealer. Now, this is actually not a concealer. It's a foundation. It's the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation in the shade F2. I like to use this one because... I don't personally like this as a foundation, so therefore I thought, oh, what else can I use it for? Concealer. It works really, really well like that because it's not too thick and a lot of concealers can be. So I'm just going to pop that underneath my eye. I've kind of popped this in the areas where I want to brighten rather than where I need, you know, coverage because although concealer is used to cover up blemishes and stuff, I don't like to use it for that. I don't have too many blemishes and I'm happy for some of my blemishes to kind of shine through, but this is a lot lighter so I kind of use this to brighten my face and it will also help to kind of dim down the fact that the foundation is a little bit too dark. Get my beauty blender again and start blending. Okay, nearly done. You might be wondering, oh, why are you just covering the foundation with concealer? Um, or, you know, the, the Revolution foundation. But this is just what I would normally do. I'm not trying to mask the foundation. I'm just going to do what I'd normally do. And that's how I can make a comparison. And that's how I can review the foundation. Because obviously you might think, oh, you can't actually see the foundation now because I've just covered it. But I, I can explain the results that I get. So it does look a little bit ghostly now, but don't worry. That's why you use bronzer, blusher, highlighter, all that sort of stuff to bring your face back to life. So now that's all pretty much 100% blended, I'm now going to powder. Powder today, I'm using the Collection Sheer Loose Powder in the shade number two, Translucent. And this is, you know, not the best powder in the world, but then again, it's not the worst. It does mean that you get quite a matte finish. So I literally take so much on my brush and I just tap like loads of it off, trying not to spill any onto my leg, but that always happens. I'm now just gonna kind of powder my face and I kind of just take that all over like this and then I go out and blend it in. You have to, if you want your foundation to last throughout the day, it is advised to powder because it will set everything in and kind of keep it there all day and I've got oily skin so that's a, a vital step okay so my face is looking how it would normally look with a foundation yeah it doesn't look too cakey it looks slightly more cakey than when I use my usual foundation which is the Maybelline 24 hour superstay foundation I'll try and find that so I can show it to you yeah it's this one here this is the one that I usually use it's honestly amazing the best foundation I've ever tried such good coverage and lasting power and everything but obviously it's you know three times the price of this foundation so you've got to kind of bear that in mind so I am gonna go I'm gonna do my makeup finish everything off and then I'll come back to you and we'll see how it's looking then bye bye Okay, so I am now back. I have just finished doing my makeup and I've done pretty much everything that I would usually do apart from the fact that I'm wearing a red lipstick for the first time in ages. Is my face in focus? I hope so. If it's not, I'm sorry. But yeah, so far so good. It looks pretty, oh, sorry. It looks um, pretty normal, pretty good. The rest of my makeup sits on it well and I'll zoom you in a little bit closer. Well, I'll bring you in a little bit closer. Um, this is what my face is looking like up close. So that's what the foundation looks like. Um, please excuse my eyebrows. I know that they're a little bit wild. Um, the only thing that I have here is that it goes a bit patchy on my neck. But that's probably my blending problem rather than the problem of the foundation. But anyway, I'm going to leave this on now for the rest of the day. I'll keep you posted every few hours on how the foundation is coming along. I won't powder or anything like that. I will just let it sit, let it go, let you know. Um, I'll be eating my lunch and everything like that. So yeah, and I'll be also doing a workout. So I'll let you know after my workout how it is. See you in a little bit. Hi, so it's now a couple of hours later. I was gonna do a workout before I ate, but I hadn't eaten anything yet today, so I just, whenever I do a workout, if I haven't eaten something beforehand, like not straight before, but I mean like a couple of hours before, then I can't work as hard, so 
I thought I would have some food so I've eaten my lunch and the makeup is looking pretty good like I think it looks absolutely fine like it looks good it does feel a little bit greasy a little bit oily but remember I do have oily skin but so far it's holding out absolutely fine I filmed another video as well in between and packed away my lights and stuff like that but so far so good I'll do a little kind of really up close but I do have a cold still so sorry about that and yet yeah, my lipsticks run off so I'll see you in another few hours okay now this really is a test of time I have tied my hair up as you can probably guess um or we'll see uh basically i still haven't done my workout but don't you worry i will because i actually enjoy working out we'll do my little routine anyway and it is now okay that clock is wrong i don't know it is hang on i do know the time i do know it i literally just looked at it how do i not remember jesus christ right one second it is ah three o'clock and my and my makeup therefore has been on for five hours it's not holding up too great lipstick we're not here for the lipstick okay that's not the problem we're looking at the foundation as you can see it's quite oily um this is what it looks like it's rubbed off on my nose and on my lip because i have blown my nose because i had a cold so that's understandable some foundations though literally you touch them and they wipe off and some are you know are absolutely fine you can touch them a little bit and it doesn't wipe off this foundation if you touch your face the tiniest little bit it will wipe off your foundation so you've got to be very careful with it what else oh yeah i did just have a nap so it's rubbed off on this side of my face can you see that so yeah it's pretty much gone all across here because that's where i have my nap so yay to my pillow being covered in foundation this side is still all right and up here my forehead doesn't tend to lose any coverage because I don't you know tend to touch my forehead at all overall it's okay you know from a distance it looks absolutely fine just a little bit oily I'm not gonna powder I'm gonna see how it lasts without powdering again but so far I don't think it's holding up too well in comparison to foundations that I've had before okay so this is the final check-in that i'm going to do today my makeup's been on for 10 hours so this is basically like a 10 hour wear test and as you can see most of it's rubbed off kind of the bottom half of my face so like my chin my nose around here it wouldn't have rubbed off in those areas well it wouldn't have rubbed off on my nose or my lip sort of area if I didn't have a cold and if I wasn't blowing my nose I haven't blown my nose that much I would say I blow my nose like three or four times so it does just basically rub it off straight away I've got a bit of dry skin by the way if you're wondering as for the chin situation that seems to be rubbing off um it's still present kind of right around here it's still present completely on my forehead missing you know around here um overall in comparison to other foundations that I've had before, like the Maybelline 24 Hour Stay foundation, it isn't great. I've had better. I have worn this foundation four or five times over the past week and I'm absolutely fine with using it. I don't need my makeup to be, you know, I can always top it up sort of situation and I can always powder throughout the day. But this is what happens when you don't powder throughout the day if you want it to last like a really long time say you work in like nine till five or whatever and you want your makeup to last all the way through it might end up looking like this but again you get what you pay for it is 3.99 what do you expect sort of situation but i do know that primark do have some cheaper ones and they are actually really good um but i do like it i definitely like it i've tried much much worse from the natural collection they do a terrible foundation honestly terrible so i would probably in comparison to other foundations at the drugstore that i've tried rate this a a six out of ten i would rate this foundation a six out of ten which is decent um i would rate my maybelline superstay a 9.5 to 10 out of 10 like honestly i love that one so much so a six out of ten isn't too bad it, it's all right um it just goes a little bit oily but other than that you know if you're powdering etc it'll be okay would i recommend you try this yes i would recommend you give it a go because you might like it will i buy it again or would i buy it again yeah if i ran out of money i would buy it again because it's not that bad 
but it's just not like a miracle product sort of situation. So that's my review of that foundation and I'll be testing other foundations that won't necessarily be new. Um, but I'll be just testing them out just to see how they are etc. But I just wanted to try that one because it was so cheap. So thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for more content and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.